Hey guys, it's Andrew and welcome back to my channel. Hope you all have been well. As you can see, I'm in my car. All right, so it's a little slower than my old car. I guess this bit might be dead. I guess I can just speed that up. Whee! Anyways, yes, I got a new car. I got it a year ago. I just have not posted a video that I've filmed in it yet. But here we are. I love her. Yes, it is a Tesla. Yes, Elon is very annoying. Yes, it was my dream car for like eight years. Yes, I have already crashed into someone with it. Got another dent already. Okay, it's so hot, guys. Holy shit. Oh my god, I have working AC in here. Didn't have that in my old car. It's 90 degrees outside. I guess, yeah, that's summer. That, that's not shocking. Anyways, as you can see from the title of this video, today I will be trying celebrity restaurants. If you remember a while ago, I did trying celebrity ghost kitchens. But celebrities are also out here making real, actual restaurants. So today, I thought we would go to them and see if the food's good. We have Gwyneth Paltrow's Goop Kitchen. Kevin Hart just opened a vegan fast food restaurant called Hart House. And then also I'm gonna go try Wahlburgers. Mark Wahlberg has a burger restaurant. And apparently has for like six years. I did not know. So let's try it! I'm honestly most excited to try Goop Kitchen. I've heard so many good things about it. After I posted that ghost kitchen video, my friend Rebecca texted me and was like, oh my god, you have to try Goop Kitchen. But I think the Kevin Hart one is on the way to the Goop Kitchen one. So I'm gonna go to that one first. Oh my god, it has been so long since I filmed a video just driving around town eating food in my car. Can't wait. All right, let's go. Beep beep. Oh my god, the mic is already slipping. Oh no. All right, one sec, guys. Okay, I just added so much tape to my mic. Honestly, like enough tape to fucking ship an entire Amazon warehouse. So hopefully that works. Okay, let's go. Okay, I'm gonna cut the camera until we get close just because I don't want the battery to die while I'm out. So I will see you once we are close to Kevin's Heart House. Okay, I am, whoop, that's a red light. <laughs> Okay. All right, guys, I'm a couple blocks away from Kevin Hart's Heart House. I remember like a year ago, he opened one down by the airport, but he just opened one up in Hollywood right across the street from Chick-fil-A. Ooh, drama. Kind of just like classic vegan fast food. They got vegan chicken sandwiches, vegan burgers, and it has a drive-thru. Can't wait, love that. Oh my God, I don't have my debit card. All right, let's hope they take Apple Pay. Oh, did you guys miss me? <laughs> Okay, elephant in the room. Yes, I have not been posting as much lately. Honestly, for a variety of reasons. Maybe soon I'll make like a video sitting down, addressing everything. But I guess I'm gonna have to learn how to play the ukulele first. In 500 feet, your destination will be on the left. I was just about to say that. Tesla bitch. <laughs> What's your name? What is your name? Command not understood. Fair. Anyways, like she said, it's up here on the left. Right, we are pulling in. Oh, exit only. Okay, we are not pulling in. We are not pulling in. Are you sure? No, I'm just gonna go in. What are we doing? <laughs> I'm crazy. <laughs> okay, we're here. Sorry. Hi, um, could I do the deluxe hot and crispy chicken sandwich? I'll also do a four-piece nugget. Um, could I also just get a regular fry? And then a side kale crunch salad. And that's all. Okay, thank you. Enjoy Thanks so much. Here you go. Hi, thank, thank you so you. much. Have a good day. You too. That was so fast. They whipped that shit. Oh, let me go find a spot in the shade. Okay, can you cars? This feels dramatic. Maybe I should go somewhere else. No, it's okay. It's lively. We're, we're out on the town. All right, so here we have it. I decided to get their spicy chicken sandwich. Back whenever all the like spicy chicken sandwich wars were happening, they made it sound good. So I'm very excited to have a vegan one. Okay, I got some nuggets. Oh, you literally can't see them. Got some nuggets. Their side little kale salad. Fries, classic. And then here is the spicy crispy chicken sandwich. Honestly, it looks divine. All right, let's give Kevin Hart's fries a try. Okay. Wow. Mm, delicious, classic. I keep thinking this is Hannah Hart's restaurant. <laughs> All right, okay. Okay, Kevin. These are good. Okay, now let's try the nuggets. I also got Kevin's secret sauce or whatever it was called. Let's try. Okay, tastes like every other sauce that looks like that. Ah, not in the new car that I've already dented. <laughs> All right, this is what the nuggets look like. They look pretty good. I don't recognize them. Mm. Oh, shit. Mm. Ah, what? Wait, these are actually, these are good nuggets. Hold on, Kevin. I hear some burn. <gasps> they didn't give me a fork. How am I going to eat the salad? Oh, wait. Yes, they did. Sorry. <laughs> oh, and a good fork. Sorry, I, I'm, I don't know why I did that. Sweet green, I love sweet green. I go there a lot. They have the worst forks. They break every time I try and use them. So that is why I was testing the strength of the fork. Just explaining that. <laughs> I'm saving the sandwich for last because it seems, you know, like the best. All right, let's try their kale side salad. It does look good. We got some Brussels, some cabbage, some corn. Very saucy. Okay, all right, come, okay. All right, that's what it looks like. Let's give it a try. 
Oh, wow. It's good. It's got like a little orangey dressing. Okay, this is impressive. Honestly, don't really know anything about Kevin Hart. Like, no movie he's ever been in, I've really wanted to see. <laughs> Never watched any of his stand up specials. But this is really good. This whole meal so far, I'm impressed. Kevin Hart is my favorite chef. Kevin, maybe you should quit the comedy thing. Wait, what does he do? Have I seen a movie? Jumanji did not watch that. Die Hart did not watch that. Wow. Yeah, I have not seen a single Kevin Hart movie. Oh, The Secret Life of Pets. I saw that. <laughs> All right, this is really good. I'm very impressed. I feel like I've said that like 10 times, but mm, delicious, refreshing. All right, and now let's try their deluxe, uh, what is it, spicy chicken, sp spicy crispy. This, this is what it looks like. The bun is also gorgeous, like a little toast action they got going on. All right, let's give it a try. Mm, God, what the fuck? This is so good. Mm. Wow, Kevin, that is divine. I don't know what else to say. Am I supposed to describe the flavor? Do you guys care? I'm just here to hang out and eat with you guys. <laughs> Honestly, 9 out of 10. It's crispy. It's spicy. It's juicy. And it is not sponsored. So <laughs> let's wrap it up. <laughs> oh my God. I can't stop eating it. Oh my God. Okay. I need to stop because we have a lot more to eat today. <laughs> but that was really good. I don't know what I was expecting, but wow. Okay. I will be back. Kevin. Oh, Kevin. Sorry, Kevin. I don't want to see your movies, but like Open a second restaurant. You got something good going on in the culinary world. Okay, guys, I have to pee so bad. I'm in the middle of Hollywood. I don't know where I'm gonna pee. Okay, I'm gonna go find some place to pop in and pee real quick. I'll be I'll be right back. Sorry, sis. Gotta piss. Okay, I'm back. I peed. I just came back to Hard House. You know how to get the full review. Okay, these people are looking at me talking to the camera, so I'm gonna leave. Being in a Tesla talking to a camera is like whoa. I feel like everyone's just like, oh, another one of these little bitches. David didn't buy it for me. I bought it myself. Guys, I just want to apologize for calling the Tesla voice command a bitch. Um, I would never... I didn't mean that in a misogynist way. Okay, so that was Heart House by Kevin Hart. Whoa, okay. These Hollywood streets, what are our taxes paying for? I'm giving it a 9 out of 10, and honestly, I don't know what isn't making it a 10 out of 10. Nothing about it was bad. I'm just not ready for that kind of commitment. Okay, so next up, we have Goop Kitchen. Gwyneth Paltrow, we know her, we like her. Goop Kitchen, there's a few locations all around town. I don't know if it's only in LA. Okay, wait. Take us to Goop Kitchen. My car can do so much now. Oh, it didn't understand that. It does not know what the word goop is. Goop. Kitchen. Navigating to Goofy's Kitchen in Anaheim? No way, my car just routed me to Disneyland. No, that's not why I'm going. Goop. Kitchen. All right, it's about three miles away. We got a little drive. Okay, this one doesn't have a drive through and it probably takes a little while to get our order, so I'm actually gonna maybe pull the side. Okay, so I'm gonna place my order here for pickup. They have a lot of salads, they have some bowls, and then handhelds. A lot of it is like meat, but they also have some tofu. <gasps> Cameron Diaz's Summer Crunch Salad. Ooh, collab. And it's vegan? Okay, I'll get that. Okay, add to order. Ooh, get 10% off. What, you want my phone number? Sure, you can have it. Hey girl, text me sometime. 15% off secured. That's what that noise was. All right, I'm gonna get that salad. And then they have barbecue tofu Thai lettuce wraps. Sounds delicious. Absolutely, add to cart. The greenest green salad also looks kind of good. That's what it looks like. These videos are fun because it's like meal prep. I will be eating all of the leftovers tomorrow. <laughs> Enter my promo code, uh, yeah. I'm not getting all my money, Gwyneth. All right, so I'm getting the summer crunch salad, the Thai lettuce wraps, and the greenest green salad. Okay, place order now. Let's go! I don't know if you can tell, my hair looks like shit. <laughs> I need a haircut so bad, I'm getting one tomorrow. So don't judge me. All right, it is in this building, I guess. Delicious. On the right. Oh my god, where is it? So many old people in nice cars. Holy shit. All right, we're in some very large, like, office-looking building. How am I gonna find this? Okay, first floor inside the courtyard. All right, I'm a, I'm a little scared. I'm gonna go inside and try and find it. Wish me luck. And I will see you in a moment. <gasps> is Gwyneth gonna be there? No. <laughs> All right, we got it. We have arrived. We got the goods. We got the goop. It smells like iced tea. All right, what is this? First up, we have the tofu wrap. Very DIY. Not sure how I'm gonna do this in the car. And then here is the green salad thing. Well, yeah, it's green. There's some like garbanzo beans with some green stuff on it. That looks good. And then we have Cameron Diaz's summer salad. This one honestly looks the best. When two white women get together and make a salad, magic happens. Okay, first let's start with the lettuce wrap. We have a little chili crunch oil. Just a little, a little tiny bit <laughs> of cashew vinaigrette. Then we have what looks like some like marinated cucumber. What is this, some kind of slaw? I don't know what this is. It looks like mango, but it tastes like cabbage. <laughs> then we have some brown rice with like mushroom pieces. What is that? Mint cilantro, a little blend. And then here we have the barbecue tofu. This looks pretty good. It doesn't smell that good, I'm gonna be honest. Okay, I'm gonna try a little piece. Mm. Oh, fuck. Okay. I love these little tiny pieces. All right, let's build a wrap and give it a try. Here is the lettuce wrap. All right, we'll put a little rice in. Let me take my seatbelt off. Let's get a little, let's get cozy. Slip into something more comfortable. A little rice, a little bit of the tofu, a little bit of the yellow stuff that does not taste like mango. <laughs> and then the cucumbers, the random pile of 
miscellaneous herbs, and then a little squeeze of lime. Oh, oh, shit. All right, Gwyneth Paltrow's lettuce wraps. Let's give it a try. Mmm. Okay. Mm. It's pretty good. It's definitely not a spicy fried chicken sandwich. <laughs> hmm. Oh my god, guys, you can't even see. I'm sorry. Okay, the tofu is good. The tofu, I give the tofu like an 8 out of 10. The rest is a little boring, though. The brown rice tastes like brown rice. <laughs> I don't know what this is. It does not taste like mango. Yeah, okay, I mean, it's good in like a... That kind of way. I'll be honest, I thought it would be a little better. I'd give it like a 6 out of 10. I don't know, I'm not gagging. Oh, I forgot the little chili oil crunch stuff. I don't think that would have made it much better. Oh, I forgot the dressing too. Okay, all right, let me try it. Yeah, okay, that probably would have made it a little better. I don't feel like making another one though. <laughs> we have a lot to eat. All right, next up, let's try the greener salad. Well, I forget the full name. Looks pretty good. We got some avocado, some cucumbers, some lettuce, some green beans, some artichoke. Yeah. <laughs> and then some garbanzo beans with some stuff on it. And then there's this little cup of like little crispy things. I don't really know what it is. It looks like that. Focus. Oh, oh my God. All right, let's mix it. All right, here's the dressing. Delightful. <laughs> all right, got it all mixed up. This is what it looks like. Let's give it a try. Wow, I feel like some sexy little Beverly Hills housewife eating my salad. Enjoying a nice salad in Beverly Hills. Life couldn't get any better. <laughs> If only my girls were here with me. Let's give it a try. Delicious. Refreshing. All right, let's get let's get some of the artichoke. Let's get some of the bean. I'm going to try and get everything in one bite. Okay, I don't know if I'm going to be able to do that. Okay, all right. Mm. Yeah, it's good. It's a salad. <laughs> I feel like I should have started with this, the healthiest one, when I was starving. Because it's good, but like not as good as the chicken nuggets I just ate were. I like the little crispy things. Not sure what they are. I don't know. I was kind of, I'll be honest, I was kind of expecting this all to be better just based on how many people were raving about it. But okay. Yeah, a nice salad. I'd give it like a, I don't know. It's really not that good. Like the dressing, there's not much going on. Could be a little more herby, a little ranchy. Yeah, I don't know. I give it like a six out of 10. Okay, I'm gonna eat the rest of this later. Meal prep. And finally we have what looks the best. The Cameron Diaz collab summer salad. Looks like we have more of that yellow stuff. Okay, that's mango. That tastes like mango. The other stuff did not. Some cilantro, some carrots, um, some cucumber, some avocado, some little like puffed. Oh, what's that? I have no idea. Corn? It's nuts. It's cashews. A little squirt of lime. And then the cashew vinaigrette. All right. Uh -oh. Okay, this looks good. This looks a lot more flavorful. This is what it looks like. All right, let's give it a try. Okay. This one is delicious. Mm. Divine. A little spicy. The lettuce is like, the lettuce is pretty good. A little crunchy. Guys, I have to pee again, like so bad. There's a little mint in it. Ooh, what is this? A little snap pee, I didn't see that. Mm, delightful. Okay, now I get what people are raving about. This is divine. How is it making me look? Is Goop making me beautiful? Okay, I will give this like an eight out of 10. She should collab with Cameron Diaz more. Cameron Diaz is clearly a white woman who don't play about her salads. Delicious. All right, guys, I would keep sitting here and eating it and saying things about it, but I have to pee so bad. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna go find somewhere to pee, one sec. Pause. Alrighty guys, I just peed at Whole Foods. <laughs> Beverly Hills is so scary. Everyone's cars are so nice and like they actually take care of them and like get them cleaned regularly. I can't be here. <laughs> I need to wash my car as you can probably see from the ceiling. So bright in this neighborhood too. Where are we? Oh, okay, Goop Kitchen. Did we finish that off? I'm sorry. <laughs> I had a piece, so I had to shut it down real quick. Yeah, it was fine. I am starting to get full and definitely things taste better when you're hungrier. So I'll give her that. Would I go back? Yeah, maybe. If I was in the area. Is it starting to get like traffic time and it's saying it's gonna take me 40 minutes to get home? So that is fun. Ah, the lighting is so gorgeous in this car. I need to start filming a lot of videos in here. Guys, what are what are more videos I can do in my car other than driving around town eating? Okay, so let's stay focused. All in all, I would give Goop Kitchen like a seven out of 10. I found one of the little crunchy things from this salad in my cup holder. <laughs> <laughs> Those are good though. I give these a nine out of ten. All right, next up, Wahlburgers. Mark, Mark, Mark Wahlberg. Who? Okay, Mark Wahlberg. I like obviously know who he is, but like, is he an actor, a sports player, or is he one of the Shark Tank people? Let me look. Who is Mark Wahlberg? Oh yeah, he's an actor. Okay, I don't know why I thought he was on Shark Tank. Once again, he is an actor in a bunch of movies I have never seen nor wanted to see. Literally all of these movies I've not seen a single one. Oh, Date Night with Tina Fey. I saw that. Well, Mark Wahlberg, he's got a burger place. I'm going to do the same thing and just like go ahead and place the order now for pickup. Wahlburgers. They are in Hollywood. My favorite. Okay, order now. Oh, go. You can go around me. Sorry. Oh, okay. I got, oh, someone's behind me. I got it. 
Okay, began order. Wall burgers. Looks like a classic burger place. You know, they have burgers, they have fries, they have side salads. Okay, they have an impossible burger. It says it's Mark's choice. Okay, Mark. So I am gonna get that. Impossible burger, add to cart. It's $18. The normal burger is only 13. What's with the upcharge, Mark? Is that why it's your favorite? Because it's the most expensive? $18 for an impossible burger with no side? I'm sorry, are we at the fucking airport? What? Clearly he's not one of the Shark Tank people because this is a bad deal. Okay, and then they have fries, tater tots, and then thin, crispy onion rings? These look good. Okay, I'm gonna get these. Focus, focus. Oh, is it focused? I need glasses, I can't. <laughs> Guys, that's how I rear-ended someone. I was on my way to an eye appointment. Didn't make it. <laughs> All right, I am checking out. $27 for an Impossible Burger and some onion rings. What has this economy come to? All right, Wahlburgers ordered. Let's go try it. I don't really know anything about Mark Wahlberg, if that's not clear. So we'll see. Well, we're half an hour away, so we got some time. We'll see in 25 minutes. All aboard. All right, I guess I'll turn the camera off because we have to drive so far. Bye. BRB. All right, I am like five minutes away from Wahlburgers. <sighs> Guys, I can't believe I've only been to two. I feel so tired and full. I'm ready for a nap. But excited to try this $18 veggie burger. Something's gotta be special about it. Mark Wahlberg's face better be delicately etched on the bun. Guys, my hair is losing it. My hair is starting to lose it. Uh, Just please ignore it. Why are the wipers on? Back in beautiful Hollywood, baby. I don't think there are two polar opposites in Los Angeles more than Beverly Hills and Hollywood. Oh God, we're in the ass crack of Hollywood. Okay, Wahlberg, oh, there it is. Oh, it's right here. All right, I gotta find somewhere to park. Oh, there is a woman dancing. Oh my God, I'm gonna have, oh my God. Okay, I'm gonna have a heart attack. Get me out of Hollywood. Does anyone here know how to drive? Cause I don't. Can you teach me? Okay, of course Wahlbergers is like on the Hollywood strip. Does Mark Wahlberger, or what, Mark Wahlberg? What is his name? Does he have a Hollywood star? Turn right. I'm working on it. Where am I? Forever 21? I thought they went out of business. There is so much culture here. Too much. Do you wanna, do you wanna just like get a little... I don't like it here. All right, I guess I have to find a parking spot and then go walk to it. Please take the parking ticket. Please Sorry. <laughs> I just really, really didn't want to park here, but I guess I have. Oh my god, guys, this is like awful. I really don't like it here. Ah, oh, ew. <laughs> god, the vibes here are just down bad horrendous. We made it. All right, I'll be right back. Gonna go pick up the order. Wish me luck. Oops, okay, I thought the camera was recording and it wasn't. I was just talking. Anyways, I got the goods and I made it out of the parking garage. Uh, the restaurant was not that cute and it smelled like piss, but I think that can be said about most places on the Hollywood Strip. Oh, y'all. Why do I feel like I am running a marathon? <laughs> I am sitting in my car eating food. Whew, today drains me. Oh my God. Let me out. Let me out of here. All, all the cars need to move faster. All right, I don't know where I'm going. I'm just trying to get out of Hollywood. All right. Found a cozy little spot right under a lemon tree. And you can't see me. All right, I'll go somewhere else. <laughs> Oh my god, the battery just died. Alrighty, y'all, sorry for the interruption. I don't know where it cut off. My main camera just died, so I swapped it out with another one. And I don't like this camera. So if the quality just decreased, I'm sorry. Anyways, we are here, and we got the Mark Wahlberger. I look, have just looked progressively more disheveled as this video has gone on. Hair, stop being too long. Cut yourself, please. Or, no, I mean, don't. I mean, I love you hair, don't do it. You're so beautiful. All right, but here we have it. It comes in a nice little wall burger box. Oops. These are the onion rings. Oh wait, nope, this is the burger. Okay, I think these are the onion rings. <gasps> oh my God, they weren't joking. These are thin as hell. It looks like a little salad. Okay, here is the $18 impossible burger. Yeah, I don't know what makes this worth $18. <laughs> it's on like a Wonder Bread bun. Okay, okay, I'm being too critical. Let's give it a try. It does smell good. All right, here we go. Ma Mark, wall, whatever. Okay, that's pretty good. There's a lot going on on here. There's like caramelized onions, some sauce. That's pretty good. <laughs> what am I doing? Why am I doing this? Is this interesting? <laughs> I can tell you, when I moved to LA to pursue my entertainment career, I did not think this is what I would be doing. And maybe that's my fault. <laughs> it's good though, I like it. <laughs> it tastes like a burger, guys. I don't know what to say. <laughs> oh no, guys, I'm falling apart. <laughs> 
Okay, it actually, it is pretty good. I don't think I would ever go again, mostly because it's in the ass crack of Hollywood, but it's pretty good. I mean, I've eaten like more than half of it, so. <laughs> but yeah, that's good. I'd give that like an eight out of 10. Wait, actually, no, I'd give it a six out of 10 because that is not worth $18. And I don't know why there was a $5 upcharge for an impossible patty. I've been to Ralph's, I know how much they cost. It is not bad, but it is good. And it has been around for like a long time. Out of all the celebrity restaurants we've been to, this has been around the longest. I'd never heard of it until now. Ooh, okay, okay. Gotta give them points for this. They include these sauce packets. Remember when these came out? Like, life was never the same. This is what we should have been doing all along. Like, I'm sorry, sauce packets should not be smaller than this. Dip and squeeze? Ugh. Oh my god. Great minds made this. Whoever designed this deserves to get their bussy ate. Alright, now we have the really tiny onion rings. These smell so good. I mean, it just smells like fried shit. <laughs> Not fried shit. Alright. This is fun. What? What am I saying? Alright, let's give the tiny little onion rings a try. That's pretty good. It just tastes like fried batter. <laughs> huh. I mean, yeah, they're divine. Okay, these are these are delicious. I mean, obviously. It tastes like a topping for the burgers that they just gave me an entire bowl of. <laughs> wow, get the close up. Get the titties, bitch. Mm, wow, gotta say, it is not worth going to Hollywood for. Few things are. What? Wait, what is this sitting on? It's sitting on like some map? Hold on. What? I thought it was gonna be like a fun little map of the town. It says you are here, but that is not where it, I was. I don't know where that is. Okay. <laughs> I wish I had like a fork. Like it's literally like a little salad. <laughs> I would give these like an eight out, uh, I would give these like a seven out of 10, maybe an eight out of 10 if they weren't in the middle of Hollywood. Accessibility score gets a solid zero. It smells like piss in there. It, it was the piss. Oh, Hollywood, land of the dreams. I want another bite. Enough. <laughs> Wrap it up. <laughs> um, I'm done. Oh my God, all the crumbs from those onion rings. One sec. Alrighty guys, well, I think that is all I will be trying today. Well, and then I guess my camera stopped recording and I just kept talking because I don't know where the rest of the footage went. <laughs> but I mean, that, yeah, that was all. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. Miss you guys a lot. Hope you had a good time. All right, I'll see you guys next time. Bye.